Hi, it's John here at Primal Woods. Uh, it's been about three and a half hours since I unboxed the queen and also applied some water to the queen cage to, to try to uh, rehydrate uh, the queen and her attendants. So here I am, ready to do the installation. First thing I did, and you can see some bees from the hive uh, attracted to the queen cage, I, I used this scribe to put a hole through the candy to help uh, the workers in this hive to release the queen, uh, which will take them presumably the next couple of days. This end still has the full cork in it, so I'm going to try to show you this uh, up close. Okay, so if you look in there, you know, hopefully you can see uh, light coming through there, a hole all the way through. It's not big enough for a bee to get through, uh, but it's a lot closer than, than nothing. Um, so I've looked in here. Uh, the queen is moving around. That's her abdomen right there, uh, moving towards the top. So I'm going to get her into the hive. So when Shana and I left this hive, uh, we had decided not to put the dead queen in her cage into the hive. When I called the apiary about getting a replacement queen, they told me to uh, put the dead queen in her cage in the hive, that she would still be giving off some pheromone, which would keep these bees happy for a few days. So we put it on the, on the bars of box number, uh, I guess it would be box number three, the way this is organized. Um, so I'm going to take the roof off, uh, and then I'll take off the feed box and box one, and then I'll, I'll leave the bottom box here in the queen cage. It should be sitting right inside this corner. That's where Shana put it. And then I will basically remove that and replace it with the new queen. Now, since I am taking a queen, even if dead, out of this hive, uh, I'm definitely putting all my all my gear on before I before I open the hive up. Here it goes. Okay, I just take the roof off because it's heavy, really. I am going to look under the quilt, pretty much to see how the feed is doing. bit of feed in both jars, both the jar and the original can. So basically these were three holes. This one was entirely filled with candy. As you can see, they've largely consumed all of that. Actually, this end is, is completely open. So maybe they took, they must have taken the candy out of this end and and put it over on this end which happens to be where the dead queen is laying but anyway this is not going back in the hive okay so all the bars are back on the bottom box these have not built any comb in there and so this is the new queen cage, and I am just going to 
going to set that on these bars. I'll come back in a couple days and make sure that the bees have released the queen. Until then, we'll put the hive back together. still in place. No problem there. Put the quilt back on the top. To close up hive number one for a couple days when we'll come back and see uh, if, if she's been released. Thanks for watching.